the Lord be with you. And your spirit. Come into God's God's family with confidence and as the Lord from our demise time. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been in the world. In what I have done, in what I have to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most religious fault, therefore I have spaced many of my religion, all the religious chains, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Isaiah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, their beloved. Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no holocaust, sacrifice, oblation or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were a holocaust of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow your unreserved unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your word wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord the word of the Lord. Thanks. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior. Remember, Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from all fall. In your kindness, remember me. Remember because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. God and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to the justice. He teaches the humble this way. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Glory and praise to the Lord.
The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter came out and asked Jesus, Lord, when my brother wrongs me, how often must I forgive him? Seven times. No, Jesus replied, not seven times, I say, seventy times, seven times. That is why the reign of God may be said to be like a king who decided to settle accounts with his officials. When he began his auditing, one was brought in who owed him a huge amount. As he had no way of paying it, his master ordered him to be sold, doing with his wife, his children, and all his property. In payment of the debt, I thought the official prostrated himself in homage and said, My Lord, be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. In full. Move with pity the master, let the official go, and wrote off the debt. But when the same official went out, he met a fellow servant who owed him a mere fraction of what he himself owed. He seized him and throttled him. Pay back what you owe, he demanded. His fellow servant dropped to his knees and began to plead with him just give me time and i will pay you back in full but he would hear none of it instead he had him put in jail until he paid back what he owed when his fellow servants saw what had happened they were badly shaken and went to their master to report the whole incident. His master sent for him and said, You worthless servant, you, you worthless wretch, I counseled you in that debt when you pleaded with me. Should you not have dealt mercifully with your fellow servant as I dealt with you? Then in anger the master handed him over to the torturers until he paid back all that he owed. My heavenly Father will treat you in exactly the same way unless each of you forgive his brother from his heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Ang pagkapatawad sa mga tao ng kasala sa atin hindi lang isang beses hindi lang pitong beses hindi lang pitong pung beses pa nito ngunit ipinapahayag na alin yung 70 times 7 times is not only uh, numerical figures yun ay figures of speech Nalin, na walang katapusang pagpapatawad. May mga bagay na nais natin bigyan ng pagninilay sa usapin ng pagpapatawad. Katulad nga po na yung pinahayag natin noong nakaraang linggo, yung lahat ng pagkilos dapat natin ay paghuhugutin natin saan? Sa Kristong muling na buhay. Sabagat, Maliwanag na ipinapahayag ng Kristong muling na buhay na alin yung kahalagahan ng Ibanghelyo natin. Magpatawad tayo sabagat huwag nating kalimutan katulad ng kwento na ipinahayag sa ating parabula tungkol sa hari at sa kanyang alipin. Ah, hari at ang opisyal ng hari at yung yung kapwa opisyal na may utang 
sa kanya. Kaya dapat ipinamaman ito din ng alin. Huwag natin kalimutan na it is out of the mercy of God na sa pamagitan ng muling pagkabuhay ni Yesu Kristo tayo ay binigyan ng kabatawaran. Kabatawaran. Sa mga bagay na hindi natin kayang bayaran. No? Yun na nais bigyan pa sin, yung ating pagkakasala ay hindi pwedeng bayaran natin. At sino lang yung pwedeng magbayad? Si Jesus. Sa so, magitan ng kanyang paghihirap, pagkamatay, at muling pagkabuhay. Kaya nga sabi ko, doon muli tayo huhugot sa muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Isa Kristo. Kaya lang tayo makababayad sa ating mga pagkakasala ay gawa ng binayaran tayo ng ating Panginoong Isa Kristo sa kanyang paghihirap, pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay. Kaya handa tayo magpatawad kasi pinatawad tayo ng Diyos. Pinatawad tayo ng Diyos. Yung pagkakasala natin ay hindi natin kayang bayaran. Sabi ko, bakit? Kasi ang pinagkasalanan natin ay Diyos. Kaya ito'y binayaran ng paghihirap, pagkamatay at muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. So, maliwanag na kapag tayo nakapagpatawad, ah, ito'y bunga, bunga ng pagpapatawad na ibinigay ng Diyos sa akin. Kaya ko kaya magpatawad kasi maliwanag sa akin nalil. Pinatawad ako ng Diyos. Pinatawad ako ng Diyos. Kung ako ay hindi pwede magpatawad, ay ibig sabihin, hindi ko naintindihan na kung bakit ako'y pinatawad ng Diyos. Ibig sabihin, hindi lamang naintindihan natin sa ating isipan, ngunit hindi natin, kung tawagin po natin, ay naangkin yung pagkabatawad ng Diyos sa atin. Kasi kung pinaniwalaan natin na pinatawad tayo ng Diyos, magiging madali para magpatawad tayo sa kapwa. Magiging madali. Hindi sinabing mahirap. Sorry. Hindi pala sinabing madali. Talagang mahirap ang magpatawad. Pero gawa ni Jesus na nagpatawad sa atin, magiging madali ang magpatawad sa kapwa. So, kaya nga sabi ko, saan tayo hugot? Ah, sa pagkabatawad ng Diyos. Dulot ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay. At maliwanag na ang pagkabatawad ko sa aking kapwa ay salamin ng pagkabatawad ng Diyos sa akin ang pagkabatawad ko sa kapwa ko ay salamin ng pagkabatawad ng Diyos sa aking mga kasalanan at kahinaan. Ginawa yung makita natin. Pangalawa, no? pangalawa ko siguro na makita natin, no? kaya kumisan na natataasan tayo sa unang paliwanan. Pangalawa ay makita natin na yung pagkabatawad ni Kelen ay hindi para doon sa pinatatawad. Ito ay para sa nagpapatawad. At kapag hindi kayo magpatawad, ah, sabi ni Father, pamisan, may kita natin, oh, Father, nagsasabi na, palagi ako na nananaginip ng, ng mga mahal ko sa buhay na patay. O ba't ka naman naginip? Hindi ko alam. Ah, siguro may mga bagay, may mga tao hindi ka pa napapatawad. Something is bothering you. Wala kang kapanatagan ng kalooban. May galit sa puso mo. Hindi ka ba marunong magpatawad? O hindi kaya ay kulang pa ang iyong pagkabatawad? Kaya, 
yung pagkabatawad mo yun eh. That is an inner peace. Bakit? Maliwanag na alin. Ay dumadalo yun sa'yo yung biyaya ng Kristo muling na buhay. Hindi pwedeng dumalo yun sa'yo ang biyaya ng Kristo muling na buhay kung may galit sa puso mo. Kung ikaw ay hindi marunong magpatawad. Padre, mabait naman ako eh. Kaya hindi, na, hindi, hindi ko lang kaya magpatawad. Hindi mo kaya matitanggap yung tunay na kapayapaan at kapanatagan na dulot ng ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo na handang mag-alay ng kanyang sarili at magbigay ng kapatawaran para sa atin. Kaya kung gusto nyo talaga na kayo ay uh, dumanas ang kaligayahan, ah, magpatawad kayo. No? Magpatawad kayo. Hindi para sa iba yan. Para sa atin yan. No? Para sa atin yan. Kaya alam nyo kung isang, isang malaking uh, sabi nga ay kung isang mga tao nagkahanap, ano ba kayo yung incentive natin para magpatawad? Um, alam ko anong incentive. Ah, para sa isipin mo na rin. Para sa iyo yan. Una tigit sa lahat, para sa iyo yan. Para pakinabangan mo ang biyaya na dulot ng Kristong muling na buhay. Pangatlo, Father, yan ay haabusuhin. Anything will be subject for abuse. When it was, when it is being used in the wrong way, lahat ng bagay pwede maging dahilan ng pag-aabuso. Pwede maging dahilan ng pang-aabuso ng iba sa atin. Kaya kung misa yung iba, ay, ayaw kong magpatawad. Ah, huwag natin kalimutan na alin. Iba yung pagkapatawad, iba yung katarungan. Ano? Hindi nang uluga na kapag kayo nagpatawad, ay, yun ay pang-aabuso. Pang-aabuso sa iyo. Hindi, turuan mo yung tao. I iba yung pang-aabuso, iba yung pagkabatawad. Yung pang-aabuso, if you will, sabi nga natin, if you will invite abuse, hindi na ulugan na hindi mo turuan ng tao. Ay, bahagi yun na kung saan kinakailangan pa rin natin turuan ng tao. Kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin. Kung ano yung dapat niyang isa katulparan. But, you could not use abuse para hindi ka magpatawad. Kasi kung minsan yung ginagamit natin eh, ayaw kong patawarin yun kasi abusuhin lang ako. Hindi, iba yung iba yung issue ng abuse. If you would like to direct the issue of abuse, you have to direct the issue of injustice. Yun ay usapin ng katarungan. Pero, ikaw, dapat magpatawad. Kung gusto mo na yung tao ay hindi ka abusuhan, turuan mo. Turuan mo. Pero sabi ko nga, ay yung pang-aabuso, hindi mo sakop yun eh. Hindi ikaw may hawak noon. Pero pwede mo siyang gabayan para hindi ka naabusuhin. Pero hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na kaya hindi ko siya mapatawad kasi aabusuhin lang ako. Ah. Maliho, no? Magkaibang bahagi ho yun ng pag-inilay na huwag natin kalimutan. No? Hindi na hulugan na siya ipinatawad mo. Hindi na hulugan na hindi na siya ah, mag-i-incur ng punishment. Kaya ang babalikan natin yung unang pagbasa doon sa nung linggo na alin. Ang si eh, justice yun eh, yung kapag ikaw ay nagkasala, paparusahan ka hanggang sa ikaapat na saling lahi. Kapag ikaw ay kapag ikaw ay gumawa ng mabuti, ikaw ay gaganti yung palaan hanggang sa ikaapat na bahag, ikaapat na saling lahi. No? Makita ko na, that is justice. Katarungan ang pinag-uusapan doon. Payment ang pinag-uusapan doon. Hindi nangulugan na kung ikaw ay magbabayad, hindi nangulugan 
na hindi mo na si sigurado ang isang tao kapag gumawa ng kasamaan sigurado yan no? bagamat po ayaw kong gamitin yung salitang karma kasi uh, hindi po salitang hindi po salitang kristyano yung karma no? ano yung dapat na salita doon? katarungan no? katarungan katarungan kasi yung salitang karma that is more of a uh, kung tawagin natin yung mga salitang Hindu no? at saka Buddhist no? sa atin nawa makita natin na alin ah, may bigay mo hinihingi ng katarungan katulad na ipinahayag sa aklat ng ng Exodo nung nakaraang linggo no? yun katarungan yun So ito po nawa yung bigyan natin ng higit ng pagnilay para po tayo ay magpatawad. Ano? Sabi ko nga, una, kaya tayo magpapatawad kasi yan yung pag-uugutan ng lahat ng pagkilos natin sa tulong ni Jesus dahil si Kristo ay muling nabuhay kaya tayo ay nagiging muka ng awa ng Diyos na ipinamahnik niya na hanggang niya tayong patawarin sa gitna ng ating kakulangan at kapagkakasala na kailanman hindi natin pwedeng mabayaran. Pangalawa, ang pagkabatawad ng kasalanan ni Alen para sa kasarili nating kapanatagan ng kalooban. Hindi tayo matatahimik hanggat tayo ay puno ng sama ng loob at paghihiganti. Pangatlo, makita po natin ano, na hindi mo pwedeng gamitin na baka tayo abusuhin kapag ikaw ay nagpapatawad. Siguradong darating ang katarungan sa sino mang tao sa daigdig na ito. Pero tayo ay naanyahan ng Diyos na magpatawad at magpatawad ng alin ng walang katapusan
to the Lord. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God and my God. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become our oblation, pleasing to your almighty power. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Keep up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue in its rewards. Through Christ our Lord, through Him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adores and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. Mere voices we pray. Join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. By sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so you become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving things. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my bread. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of a new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do, do this in memory. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, Lord. Minister to you, humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world in the of oneness and charity, together with Francis, Benaventura, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the home of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be called eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Forgive those who have sinned against us seventy times, seven times. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be truly free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins when the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace in the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer it out of the sign of peace.
O God, may the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, bukas po ay ang ating kumpisalang bayan. So, lahat ay naanyan ng mga isa. Ito ang ating bigay na oras ay 7.30. Pero yung iba po mga pare ay dumadating ng 7. Kasi, yun ang aming regular talaga na kumpisalang bayan, 7 o'clock. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go with the love and mercy of our God. Thank <laughs> you. 